Well, this uh, woman to my right needs no introduction. Of course, Penny Taylor back for another season with the Phoenix Mercury. And I've seen nothing but smiles around here today for Mercury Media Day. I mean, it, it gives me a real sense of just how close this team already is. I think so. There's a really good, as you said, a good feeling amongst the team. And we have a lot of positive people and a lot of um, people that are really excited um, for what we can do this season. So I think that um, culminates in a, in a really good environment to work in. Yeah, and one of the things, too, we've chatted with the players about is, you know, first full training camp, a full roster, you know, two-a-days. I mean, this is almost unheard of, uh, but it's all for the better with this club as you pursue the third title. It is. It is it is unheard of. And uh, for me, I think 2005 might have been the last. <laughs> so I've been a bit of a bludger on the training camp, but uh, very excited to have this opportunity. And, and everyone is making the most of it. We're really working out the kinks in... in our offense and the way that we run because it's so different to um, every other team so it takes a little bit more focus um, and everyone's doing so well uh, excited to be out there and working really hard and um, I can't wait for the games to start. Yeah, I think the fans would certainly agree with that. You talk about for yourself I know you came back in early February shortly after D got back in the States as a result of what transpired in Turkey. Um, it seems that both of you almost have kind of a, a renewed sense of purpose, uh, a renewed perspective if you will. Definitely. I feel um, really excited to play again. You know, in the past I've sort of trudged in here with two days before the first game and, and that fatigue factor um, has made it very difficult over the years. So the fact that I've had sort of this break and the chance to work on my game and get a little bit better and have the confidence um, in not being so fatigued uh, physically and mentally um, has been a real uh, eye-opener and, and it made me realize how much stress I'd been putting myself on under um, in the past so like I said really excited to play again um, can't wait to get out in front of the fans and feel their support because that always means a lot to us so um, yeah can't wait for that first game to roll around yeah, and that first game, by the way, would be against the defending champion yeah. Seattle Storm. Uh, you know, <laughs> just a minor detail. You know, we chatted with Dee about, you know, the the painful memory of that last game here against that team. But it certainly looks as though it's provided a, a source of inspiration and motivation for this team as you take the court this season. Yeah, I think the core of this team has always been very determined, and um, you know, you take. Uh, we, we learn from our mistakes so we have um, obviously taken what happened last year and we've used it as motivation and and Corey remembers it I know because he'll sometimes bring it up <laughs> and I know all of us that were on the court um, feel it look they're a fantastic team and there's definitely no shame in losing to a good team but we we know that we can do better and you've added some uh, very nice assets in an effort to try and take down the defending champs. Two players in particular that stand out, Nakia Sanford and Marie Ferdinand Harris, two players who have really kind of hung their hat defensively. You've got to really bolster this team on that end. It, it really does, and you feel a real sense of confidence in, um, in their experience. Uh, and, you know, we've played against them for so many years, to, so we know their strengths and we know that what they can do for us, and they have already begun um, to make themselves a huge part of this team and you know they've both been really impressive to watch over the last few days um, so can't wait to be out on the court with them and, and really have that opportunity to get to know them better on the floor. This league is now in its 15th season, if you can believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, your career started with uh, the Cleveland Rockers, drafted by. Was there, <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago. Uh, good, good club, <laughs> nonetheless. But you know, just talk about the growth uh, as a league, and you know how much it means to you as a player to be a part of that growth. It really does mean a lot for me to play here and be able to be a, a part of an amazing club, an amazing team. Um, even as far back as the Rockers has been an honour for me and I don't take it lightly because I know, having played throughout the world, how talented this league is and how um, you know it has the best players in the world. It has, in night in and night out, it has amazing depth uh, and talented teams. So uh, it's a great honour for me and I um, every year you know I hope to be a part of it. Thanks for the visit. Thank you.